I went from 54% in my JC mock exam to getting 94% in the actual thing in June. This is how I did it. So patterns, they don't tell you this in school, but the JC runs in patterns. It is very predictable. Area and volume is a guaranteed question. Sets is a guaranteed question, and financial maths is a guaranteed question. Those three things alone, right, are easy enough questions, all built of your basic understanding of algebra. And if you only spotted the patterns in the exam, you'd realize if I know algebra well, I can get those three topics really well. Suddenly my grades have gone from getting 50 to up to a 60, 70, 80%. So just go back and look at the exam papers and spot the pattern. Number two, organization. When I get home from school, I'd be saying, what do I study here? I don't know what to do. But what started to work for me was a tip my geography teacher gave to me. She said, at the end of every study session, the last five minutes of that study session, I want you to just write down what you're gonna to study tomorrow. And so when I come home from school on a Tuesday, wrecked, and I was saying, oh, will I study, will I not? I'd realized that I'd committed to it last night, knew what I was gonna study, and the procrastination was gone. Spend five minutes at the end of your study planning the next day's study. And the last thing, there are four big pillars in junior cycle maths. Algebra, coordinate geometry, trigonometry, and statistics. Go away and learn them as much as you can and that will get your grades up a lot more than you think.